We ask how many moles again, like before, but this time we have some zinc chloride and we've got 2.6 grams of it. 2.6 grams, how do we find the moles? So we need a number to multiply by here that's got grams in it and moles. That's the molar mass. That's the number in the periodic table. For each of these elements, we can add them together. So 2.6 grams of zinc chloride. Well, we need to multiply by a ratio that gets rid of the grams of zinc chloride, which is here, and leaves us with moles of zinc chloride because that's what we want in the end. So we need the molar mass. Zinc chloride is one zinc, 68.35, 65.38, that's it. And then we've got two chlorines at 35.45 grams per mole each. You add 35.45 times 2 plus 65.38 together, and you're going to get, well, here's what I get, I get 136.28. So 136.28 grams of zinc chloride every time you have one mole of it. When you multiply this times one, don't do that in your calculator, that's just embarrassing, and then divide by 136.28, you get as an answer 0 0.019 moles of ZnCl2. Now, let's, that cancels that grams of zinc chloride, two significant digits, five here, that's why I kept two in my answer. You're looking at this and you're saying, is that two? What about these numbers in front? Zeros in front of the first natural number that occurs never count as significant because you can write this number as 1.9 times 10 to the negative 2. You see, if you turn it into scientific notation, these numbers are just lost, so they're not significant. So therefore, there's your two significant digits, and that's your moles of zinc chloride there. Ah, this math is lovely. Let's do something else. Lovely. We've asked how many moles, but now let's ask how many grams do we have in this? 1.973 moles of iodine. So this is how many moles of I2 we have. Is that more than 6.02 times 10 to the 23 of these? Oh yeah, because that's more than one mole, that's 1.973 moles of it. Okay, now let's, how many grams do we have though? That's the question, it's mass. Okay, well we need a number that will cancel out moles and leave us with grams. Grams, moles, molar mass. Top right hand corner of the table, iodines is 126.90. But there's two of them in the formula, so that means then that when we multiply here, and get rid of the moles of I2. See, it's all unit cancellation. It's beautiful. Moles of I2 is going to cancel. We're going to leave ourselves with grams of I2. But what's the ratio between these two? There's 253.80 grams of I2 every time you have one mole of I2. Because that is the molar mass doubled from what it is on the periodic table, right? Okay, so now moles to cancel here. You're left with grams. And when you do the math here, you get 5 100.7 grams of I2. Is that right? Is that the number that we want here? One, two, three, four significant digits. Five here. Multiply or divide, keep the least number. One, two, three, four, 500.7. That's beautiful. Ah, this is getting good, right? It's easy. Chem guy, chem guy, you've been throwing fastballs over the plate and I've been knocking them out of the park. This is great stuff. Yeah, now I throw you the curveball, I throw you the slider, and now you got to get ready to handle questions like this. How many atoms are there if you have 5.5 grams of iron? Oh, now wait, look, 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 look. 5.5 grams of iron, hey, you can turn grams into moles, right? But that's it, that you know a ratio, that's a molar mass ratio to get you to turn grams into moles. But then how do you, how do you get atoms? But you know another ratio. You know how many atoms there are in a mole, 6.02 times 10 to the 23. So you see, if you're patient and you do this unit cancellation now in two steps, oh, you're going to get the answer. Watch, 50 or 5.5 grams of iron. If you get the molar mass of iron, which is 55.85 grams of Fe for every one mole of Fe, that's cancel of Fe and you've got moles of Fe. But you don't want moles of Fe. 
So guess what? Do another ratio and get rid of the moles of Fe and keep atoms of Fe. You see, it's all ratios. It's all cancellation of formulas to memorize. Oh, but this is what you have to memorize. How many atoms are there in a mole? Oh, 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms every time you have a mole. Ladies and gentlemen, all you have to do is take this number times 1, times 6.02 times 10 to the 23, divided by 55.85, divided by 1 again, and that's the answer. All the units cancel and we're left with atoms of Fe. It's a two-stepper, but you can do it. And the answer is going to be 5.9 times 10 to the 22 atoms of Fe. Does that make sense? Oh, does it make sense? Listen, of course it makes sense. It's beautiful sense. Look, if you have 5.5 grams of Fe, is that less than a mole? Yeah, because one mole weighs 55 grams. And so therefore, this is less than one mole. Does that mean then that we're going to have less than 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms? Yeah, we got 10 to the 22. It makes good sense. It's supposed to.